Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I'm so excited for this Dollar Tree haul. I got a lot of really great stuff. Before I get into the haul, I do want to mention that I have a new Instagram. Uh, I'm still using my original Instagram, so if you're following me on there, uh, I'm still going to be active on that Instagram account. But I started a new one specifically for my YouTube channel. It's just because I wanted to have a place where I could share um, like shopping content, like um, things that I find at Dollar Tree that I don't necessarily purchase, but I thought were new and interesting. Um, so please, if you are interested in that kind of thing, um, I'm going to leave it linked down below. If you want to check out my new Instagram page, I just share all kinds of photos of different items at Dollar Tree. And sometimes that's the fastest way to view um, my content just because it's easier for me to upload a, a picture on Instagram as opposed to like having time to sit down and film. And I love filming and I'm still going to be sharing my hauls with you guys on, on my channel, but I also am going to be sharing stuff on Instagram as well. So please if, uh, go check me out if that's something that you're into. So I'm going to get into the least exciting items first, as always. Um, I was really happy to find these because I'm running super low on Tupperware, um, but this is the by Sure Fresh, and it's this really pretty like pink like mauve um like three piece set and i love how it's kind of like an ombre effect i got it in the square shape as well as the uh, circle ones i thought these were really nice to keep on hand um, especially because i love the color and i needed some more of these so i grabbed one of each and this next item my mom was like what is that but i knew instantly when i seen this what this was and i've been looking for this for a long time. I have not been able to find this at Walmart, uh, Dollar General, places like that. Don't, I haven't seen it. But this is a squirrel feeder. And I've never seen one with this shape, like a little horse. But what you do is you attach, like you screw in um, screws in, like into a tree or a fence, whatever. And this will like stick out. And then you just put like one of those little like corns. It looks like a corn on a cob. And you stick that on here. And then like the little squirrels will like run up and like sit right here and eat the corn. And you can put it like, like when I worked, I worked at this office one time and they had like right outside my window, they had one of these, like a squirrel feeder. And it was so cool because throughout the day, like I could just look out the window and the squirrels would be there eating like the corn and it was really cute. So I'm going to put this outside of our window and just so that way we could look out and see the squirrels. We have a ton of squirrels already. So I know they're just going to go crazy when they see this. So I thought this was really cute. Uh, it's kind of odd to me that it's shaped like a horse, but nonetheless, I'm excited to have this because I just, I've been wanting one of these ever since I worked at that last job. And I think that's so cool for $1.25. I pick up another shirt. I'm always picking up shirts when I see them at Dollar Tree if they're in my husband's size because he loves the shirts from Dollar Tree. Um, this is by the Gildan brand uh, and it is in a 2X. This is what it looks like. It does have a pocket here, which is nice. I don't always see the shirts at Dollar Tree uh, with a pocket. So I grabbed this still for $1.25. That's an excellent deal. Because I believe you would pay like maybe four or five bucks like at Walmart. So whenever I see them, I do get them. And then I'm going to get into some stuff that I picked up for some DIYs. I'll start with this one first because I'm really upset with myself. I picked up this little um, like wooden night light, but I made the rookie move and I did not check to see if there was a light attached. There's supposed to be like a little light here and I, I know to look. I don't know why. I must have just, I was kind of excited when I was there because there was like a lot of new items at that Dollar Tree. So I'm going to have to go and exchange it. I hope they still have these. But I hate, I hate going back to exchange stuff. But I thought this was really cute. And then this right here, I have no clue what I'm going to do with it. Like, not the slightest clue. But I've been seeing people haul it, and I just, I just wanted it. And it's this little tray. Like, it's this little, like, it's like a little window almost. But it's like, you get all these four, you get four little, little compartments in here. 
And I think you could do a lot of stuff with this. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I just felt like it was so interesting and I just, I just wanted to do something with it. So once I decide what I'm going to do with this, I'll share it on my Instagram as well. Because I'm not, I'm not just sharing like shopping content on my Instagram. I also want to share like DIYs that I do with these things that I pick up at Dollar Tree, you know, or like makeup reviews, product reviews from stuff that I pick up there. So just be sure to follow if you're into that kind of thing. But yeah, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to figure something out. <laughs> And this, I'm so excited that I found this. I was worried I wouldn't find it. Um, Shauna Ray Vlogs, um, she hauled this. And when I seen it, I was like, oh, I gotta find that because I know the perfect project for it. But it's this little glass sh uh, shadow box and it says, pets leave paw prints on our heart. And I, I'm so excited that I found this because I have a picture of my two dogs and I thought that this little frame would be absolutely perfect if I put their picture in the background. Like I'm gonna remove this piece here and then I'm gonna attach a photo of them to be the background. So I'll share that as well as soon as I finish it. But I'm so happy that I found this because I think it's so cute. Even if you wanted to leave it as is, it's pretty. But I just think once I add the picture of my dogs in the background, it's gonna be perfect. And then I'll get into the Easter stuff next because I don't have a whole lot. Um, I picked up these little, like this two set of spatulas in the pink and the yellow. The yellow one has this little bunny, and then this one has an Easter egg. I thought these were so adorable. So I just picked these up just to use, just because I need them. Uh, but also they're very festive for Easter time as well. And they had these really, really cute little tin buckets at my Dollar Tree. They had all kinds of different ones, um, but this was my favorite. Um, this one has like the little pink truck and then the carrots in the back. I thought that was so adorable. I have some like really pretty like speckled like Easter eggs that I think I'm gonna fill this in with. I think that'll be really pretty. So I got this to decorate with. I love decorating for Easter. It's one of my favorite holidays to decorate for. And then I also got these right here. These are the printed felt bunny paws. I thought these were so adorable. I actually picked these up for work because we do like to decorate like the, because I sit like at this, like at a desk behind a window. And then um, me and the other girl I work with, we decorate the little windows with different stuff for the holidays. And I thought these bunny like paws would be so cute to decorate with on my window at work. So I picked these up and I thought they were so adorable. And I did get two signs for Easter. Um, I haven't found a whole lot just yet at my Dollar Tree, but I was lucky enough to find these two because I think they're so, so cute. <laughs> I'm so happy that I got these. I got the two gnome signs that my store had. They had the welcome sign and he's holding the little eggs. I thought that was so cute. And then I got this one that just says happy Easter and he's holding a carrot. I think these are adorable and I'm happy that my store had these. Um, hopefully my store gets some of the other signs that I've been seeing people um, hauling. My store hasn't gotten very much just yet. I keep checking. Hopefully they're coming soon. And I did get one last um, St. Patrick's Day decoration because I don't have anything like this. But it's this really like long sign that says welcome. It has the little four leaf clover here. I thought that was super cute. So I got this to decorate for St. Patty's Day. I don't really decorate too much for the holiday, but for St. Patty's Day anyway. But I thought I would start to, you know, add a little bit of stuff here and there to my collection. And I did pick up some new stickers. Um, I was looking like crazy for Valentine's Day stickers because I sent out Valentine's Day cards and I didn't have any Valentine's Day stickers to decorate them with. So my store finally got some in. So I picked them up for next year. Um, th these are the 50, this is a 53 piece and this is what they look like. So, so cute. I really, really wished I would have had these this year, but at least I can use them next year. That'll be really cute to decorate with and I just think these are so adorable. So I'm glad I at least have them for next year. And I've hauled these before, but I've decided that I'm gonna pick them up whenever I find them because I just think these are good to keep on hand year round. Um, but this is a 33 piece of um, birthday stickers. I think these are adorable. I love the colors and I think these will be really fun to use when I send out birthday cards. So I had to pick this up. 
So my store has been getting in a bunch of stickers from this brand called Momo Co. Momo Co. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but they are all super, super cute. I had to pick my favorite ones, even though I wanted all of them. I didn't want to buy too many because a dollar twenty-five. It's a little pricey, but I got these. And they're like little tacos and burritos and little bottles of hot sauce. And I just thought these were so cute. I thought these were adorable. And they're like little puffy stickers. Like they're kind of like foam. And I think they're so adorable. So I got a pack of these. And then I also got a pack of these avocado stickers. And these ones are shakers. So they have like glitter in them and shake them up. Or they're like sequins, like little tiny like iridescent sequins. And they all, all the little avocados have different expressions. And I thought those were so, so cute. And you get nine of them. So you don't get too many, but like they're really, the ones that you do get are super cute. Love those. And the last ones I got from that same brand um, are these really pretty like bedazzled stickers. And they're just so girly. I love these lashes. I thought those were so, so pretty. And I thought like that was just something unique that I haven't seen at Dollar Tree before. So I thought this would be really good for crafting. I did get some food items. I saw these four packs of the Cheez-It Snapped. Or Snapped? Yeah, Snapped. <laughs> and it is in the cheddar and sour cream and onion flavor. I think these are so good to take to lunch. And I think four of them for $1.25 is pretty good because I just, I know I like this brand or this type of um, cheese it and then over by the chip aisle they have these oven baked pork rinds and this is in the chili lime flavor I've never seen this brand at Dollar Tree before and it sounds really good I like pork rinds um, and I've never I mean I'm sure I'm gonna like this chili lime flavor hopefully it's not too spicy but I like the packaging I thought it was pretty cute it looked like a nice brand I was so excited to find this this is the family size rice aroni beef flavor you get 13.6 ounces in here. That's probably way too much rice aroni for me and my family, but at least I can make it and we can have leftovers. So I definitely wanted to pick this up. I didn't want to pass on it. Um, let's see. And the expiration date is July 23rd. So you do have quite a bit of a shelf life on this. So I definitely recommend picking this up, especially if you do have a big family, this would definitely come in handy. And I was hoping I would come across this. I've seen some other people haul it, and I'm so glad that I found it. But this is by Lipton, and this is the Aguas Frescas. And it's just like a powdered mix that you mix into a pitcher. Like you make, it makes one pitcher. And I love horchata. I haven't had it in a really long time. And if you can, it has a Best Buy date of um, August 18th of this year so I might save this for the summertime to make this for my birthday like when I have people over for my birthday party I just this sounds so good this sounds like a really nice little treat to keep on hand I might I might break into this sooner I don't know but I'm glad that I have a decent so, uh, shelf life on this but I think that's pretty good for just a dollar 25. The next two items were totally new to me I've never seen these before um, but this is a skull, like a sugar skull air freshener. Um, this is in the citrus scent. And I can't really smell it through the packaging. So hopefully once you open it, you can like smell it better. And then I also got it in the vanilla scent as well. And it's very similar to the citrus one. But the vanilla one's just like a little bit like darker in color, if you can tell. But yeah, I got these because I, I really like sugar skulls and I can always use air fresheners for my car. So I just grabbed one of each. And the, uh, the rest of the items in this haul are all from the health and beauty area. So I'm going to get started with these deep conditioners. This is by the Hask brand and it's called like their Unwind collection. Um, I tried one of these already. It was like pinot new york if i'm saying that right <laughs> that was that one but i these ones this one's pinot grigio that's what this one looks like here really pretty um this one is the providence rose love the packaging and then this one is the sauvignon blanc if i'm saying that right 
really, really pretty. So all of these hair masks are inspired by like wine. They're like wine infused, I guess. And I love the packaging. I think they're really pretty. I think they make nice gifts. And um, the hair mask was okay. It just, it comes with a ton of product in here. You get 1.8 ounces and this conditioner, it works well. So I, you, I tried to use the whole package on my hair and my hair's like long, if you can tell, like I'm gonna scoot back. Like my hair's long, but it's not like, it does, I don't need a whole package of this. So I messed up and I used too much. So I need to use this, like maybe like cut it in half and do half and half. And maybe it'll work a little better for me, but um, I've been doing, I've been trying to do more hair masks since my hair has been kind of dry lately. So hopefully these work well. I did find a new shampoo. Um, this, or no, it's a conditioner. Um, this is by Suave and this is the Tea Tree and Hemp Seed Oil Revitalizing Conditioner. And you do get 12.6 fluid ounces in here. I love the packaging. I love that green color. It's so pretty. Um, I've never tried this brand before. I've tried Swab, but I haven't tried like the, like this type of pack, like the one that comes in this packaging. I know they have like different like scents. Um, I might pick up the condi or the shampoo to go with this. Um, uh, but even if I just you know, keep this on hand as a backup. It's totally fine. I think to find this Suave product for just $1.25 is a really good deal. And I saw Casey Ree haul this. So when I seen it, I was really excited. Um, this is the Vaseline Intensive Care All-Purpose Cream. And I love the packaging. I like that it comes in a box like this. And it shows you here that you can use it on your elbows, your knees, feet, hands. It's just like a really hydrating, intensive cream. Um, I picked up two of them uh, just because I feel like I'm going to like this, especially for my feet. When I seen Casey haul this, I was like, oh my gosh, I hope I find that because that would be perfect for my heels of my feet because they get really dry. So hopefully this works really well for that. And I did... I did find some of the body scrubs by Bolero. I wanted to pick up more of them, but because of the $1.25, I was like, mm, let me just try one. So I decided to try the watermelon and aloe body scrub. I love the packaging and I think it's going to smell really nice. Let's see. Oh, it is sealed. So that's good. It smells really nice. It smells like really fresh. So I'm excited to use this. I love using exfoliating products. So I picked up one of these. You do get five ounces in here. And then I also got this body scrubber by April Bath and Showers. This is what it looks like. I love the pink color. And it does have like the little uh, suction cup in the back so you can stick it in your shower. Um, I saw someone on, I think it was TikTok, um, recommend using these with your body wash because it kind of helps like get the scent into your skin. So I'm going to definitely give this a try. Maybe I'll try these two together. I don't know, but I definitely wanted to pick this up. I like that it's really large. You know what? I think Casey hauled this too. I think I've seen her haul this as well. So I think that's such a good deal. Did pick up um, one of these um, Yardley soaps. I have never seen packaging like this from Yardley, but this is the Farmer's Market Moisture Rising bath bar in sweet cherry. I love the packaging. That is so adorable. And it's kind of like a little bit larger than your average Yardley uh, bar of soap. This is six ounces here. And you can smell it through the packaging. It smells really good. I can't wait to use this. I'll definitely let you guys know how this works. And I found some headbands and I'm so excited that I found these because I love headbands like this. Um, this is the headache free headband, I guess. Um, that's what it says right here at the bottom. And this headband, it's like really squishy on top. It's like, it's a thick headband and it, it doesn't feel uncomfortable when you wear it. Um, I picked it up in this pretty maroon color, but I also got it in black as well. They also had a really gorgeous pink color, but I already have a headband like from a different brand that looks really similar to this, so I didn't pick that one up. But I love headbands like this, just like especially when I'm doing my makeup because I don't really like to wear headbands because they do kind of like hurt behind my ears. But this one, I don't get that. I think it like it just it feels really soft and comfortable. So the last item in the haul is a highlighter from Believe Beauty. 
This is a brand that they carry at Dollar General, and I believe this would be like $5 at Dollar General. I think all of the products from this line are like five bucks. Um, but this is in the shade Good Vibes, and it's just this really stunning, like almost like champagne, but like a pink tone um, highlighter. It's so, so pretty. This is what the back looks like. And I think this is such a good find for just $1.25. I love when Dollar Tree gets makeup like this, especially makeup that like the packaging looks so high end. I think that's really pretty. But that was everything in my haul, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, especially if you made it to the end of the video. Please be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.